This video is a review for discrete distribution. In discrete distribution, the data is discrete. The summation of the probability equals 1. All the probabilities will be got from the table. Expect the value e of x equals summation of x times probability of random variable equals x. When the expected value equals 0, means the game is fair. For example, let b the number of breakdowns of machine b on any given day. The probability distribution for B can be modeled by the following table. Find X. According to summation of probability equals 1, we can set up 0 0.7 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.08 plus X equals 1 then x equals 0 0.02. For b, find the expected value. e of b equals 0 times 0 0.7 plus 1 times 0 0.2 plus 2 times 0 0.08 plus 3 times 0 0.02 equals 0 0.42. Let's go to C. Probability of B greater than 1. That equals probability of B equals 2 plus probability of B equals 3. So we have 0 0.08 plus 0 0.02 equals 0 0.1. For D, find the probability of B less than or equal to 1 which means the probability of B equals 0 plus probability of B equals 1 equals 0 0.7 plus 0 0.2 equals 0 0.9. Let's go to question 3. A game is played where two Unbiased dice are rolled, and the score in the game is the greater of the two numbers shown. If the two numbers are the same, then the score in the game is the number shown on one of the dice. A diagram showing the possible outcomes is given below. Let t be the random variable the score in a game. Complete the table to show the probability distribution of t. The score in the game is the greater of the two numbers shown. First the dice, second dice. We will write down all the score in this diagram. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because in this uh, diagonal, we have uh, the same uh, score on both dice. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is a 2. 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6. 
This is a three, three, four, 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 five, six, five, 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 six. This is a all six. Now all together is a thirty six. We have only one one. One over thirty six. We have a one two three twos. Let's go to three. One two three four five. Five over thirty six. In this way, you can figure out uh, all the probability for each number. Make sure the summation of uh, the probability equals 1. You can check. Let's go to B. Find the probability that a player scores at least uh, 3 in a game. We're looking for the probability T. Remember, we use t as the random variable in this uh, problem. So we write down probability of uh, t greater than or equal to 3. We need to add uh, all these four probability together. 5 over 36 plus 7 over 36 plus 9 over 36 plus 11 over 36 equals 32 over 36, 8 over 9. Let's go to C. Find the probability that a player scores 6 given that they scored at least 3. From a formula booklet, we found a conditional probability formula. Probability of A given B equals the probability of A intersection B over probability of B. Given that they score at least 3, so we are looking for probability of uh, t equals uh, 6, given that uh, t greater than or equal to 3 equals. We do know probability of uh, t equals 6, intersection t greater than or equal to 3 equals probability t equals 6. So we get probability of t equals 6 over probability of t greater than or equal to 3. Count uh, this is a, this is a b. Then you can use this uh, formula to figure out the answer. Probability of t equals 6 is here, 11 over 36. Probability of t greater than or equal to 3, we will use this one, because we can reduce the denominator easily. Final answer is 11 over 32. Let's go to D. Find the expected score of the game. Use the formula expected value equals 1 times 1 over 36 plus 2 times 3 over 36 plus 3 times 5 over 36 plus 4 times 7 over 36 plus 5 times 9 over 36 plus 6 times 11 over 36. 
161 over 36.